five on HRE S one oh fours. My ear. PSM, PSM, PSM. Hi Eric, bye Eric. So, new car. We arranged the layout of how we are uh, parking cars and stuff. So, uh, hmm, let's go inside. So this is Dima's S2. This car is super dope. Best Audi in Washington. My favorite car is here today. So we're gonna go take photos of that car today. So that's been added to the fleet as well. Everyone says Ni Hao. Brian just said Ni Hao. All these non Ni Hao say Ni Hao. So today we are driving, oh, hey, that's my charger. So today we're driving the Hellcat, the SRT Hellcat. So this is new to the fleet. So as you can see, this is a red key. So the red key gives you a, uh, well, obviously this car is, has a red interior too, but it's not the point. Um, the red key gives you 707 horsepower, apparently. This car has a tune on it, and so it's going to have a little bit more. Um, and then it's like 600 something foot-pound of torque. And here, we're at some park. It's gravel. I thought it looked pretty cool, the contrast with the black. Um, this car's really mean. So this car's new to the fleet, so I gotta update some photos for the car itself. Um, but you see all the red details, so you know I'm really loving this car because it's black and red. Granted, I'm wearing Skittles today, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it sounds very cliche, right? But I mean, as far as American cars go, I mean, this thing's pretty, pretty dope. I mean, I don't have anything against American cars. Um, I'll grab my camera real quick. Uh, oh. Camera case. So this is the Pelican case um, that I use. So it's the carry-on. It's a 1510. This one's a couple years old though. Um, if you guys want to buy any of the camera stuff that I do use, you guys can hop on the Amazon link below and you guys can buy it through that. Um, just to help me out if you're gonna have to spend money anyways, right? I mean, uh, red key, baby. Um, anyways, this is a camera box. I'm not a very organized person, as you can tell, so, yeah. So today we're gonna be shooting on the Sony a7 II, and then it's gonna have the Rokinon 1.4, um, polarizer. Especially you, you're gonna need it for you know, shooting black cars like this. So, uh, yeah, I guess I can uh, figure out a way to uh, put the GoPro so you guys can watch for taking photos, maybe? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. I'm 85, I'm gonna be shooting pretty far. So, I mean, I guess I'll shoot some photos and you guys, I'll post it somewhere and then you guys can check it out. Be right back. BRB. So, I mean, even though I've been shooting for such a long amount of time, I'm always, like, it's always hard to find, like, good spots to shoot, you know, backgrounds, the color, the time of day, so the lighting and stuff. Um, but so today I chose this, well, because I thought that there's, like, in this park area, there's a lot of different um, scenes to use. Um, and just so happened, this gray gravel concrete uh, makes really work for this car. It's black, so it stands out, pops a little bit more. Obviously, polarizer is really important for black cars, and then, um, you know, <coughs> I like to shoot on 85, and obviously when you're shooting it a day like this, you know, um, the light's going to be good, so obviously I always shoot at the lowest ISO that you possibly can um, to reduce the noise. Um, I don't know, really high position, I don't really follow the rule of thirds, I really just do whatever I like. Um, and. I don't know, I really finished off a short shoot to get some photos on the website um, because it's really summertime, so today's kind of cloudy, but we just need some photos for this car. So I'm not too focused on getting too many photos. Um, 
So yeah, let's get out of here. Let's, let's drive this thing and let's see how it is. And I mean, you can, you can hear it. And this car's really hot. Like you can see at the front. I, yeah, so those vents are open to let air go and leave. And then that's for the intake, obviously, and stuff. So this car does get really, 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 really hot. <laughs> like standing right next to it, just like right here, right next to the door, it's like, oh, dude. It's, it's hot just standing in this vicinity. It's super hot. base it's like a cop car a really fast cop car so you see the red interior and everything uh, this car is an eight-speed automatic I think I said that already oh it is burning I need some climate controls dude low low AC dying out here I hate this time of year when it's like you don't know whether or not you should uh do a uh, I gotta put this so you can put it on my head. Oh, it is burning in here. I gotta open the window. Oh. I look like an idiot when I'm wearing this, but a lot of people were like, it's weird driving with the DJI Osmo, so I'm like, okay. So me and Sergio traded it up. Uh, so now I'm wearing it on my head. I look like an absolute, I look like an absolute idiot. Okay. So I have nine minutes of recording time left. Um, so we're gonna head back to Zadart. So this car has a kick brake. Um, yeah, I really can't figure it, it's really bugging me out. Like the outside is really like bright. Um, I haven't played with the GoPro in a while, so let's see here. So manual mode, it's just gonna be like a regular PRND. Um, let's not get too wild out of here. So this car is an eight-speed automatic. Uh, oh. Don't wanna get the car too dirty. Detail guy's gonna murder me. This is driveway, right? Yeah. I guess it could have went. Ugh. So, this car does have a lot of horsepower. It does get wild, but, you know, traction control, traction control, this thing, it's called your foot. It's what it is, it's what traction control is. Um, the way my dad taught me to drive was that you split your your throttle and your brake and your clutch into multiple steps. So you say, if you split um, you split your throttle into ten steps, so ten levels. Um, so like at each point, at each level, it's a different amount of throttle input. So like ten percent, twenty percent, you know. So ten. So each, you add ten percent each time. If you can do more, if you can do five percent increments, then obviously your throttle, your brake control is going to be smoother. So it's just a lot of people think, like they don't think, you know, they don't think, okay, are the tires warm? Are, um, are the conditions right? Do I have tread? Is the surface level? What kind of, you know, ground am I on? So that's gonna make it so um, you're safer. So you don't end up like those Mustang videos in, in a tree, in a wall, in a crowd. Um, you don't end up on social media being one of those uh, crash video people. Uh, a lot of people don't respect the car. They just think that they're invincible, which is obviously not the case. Um, and so I drive my S2K every day. I've driven my other S2K for, you know, past like three, four or five years, I don't remember. But I've been driving low cars all the time. So I really don't scrape anything ever. Uh, I don't scrape. I don't. I never use the lift unless it's like in a really sketchy area that I've never been in before. This car is quick. Um, but you know, 
it's it's, it's really a matter of respecting the car and knowing the car itself. Um, you know, in terms of everything, like, like not scraping it, not looking like an idiot, being able to park it. It's really just how aware of your surroundings you are. Um, which I've been told that I have a very like high spa spatial awareness, almost in spatial, um, spatial awareness. So I kind of really know when I'm always looking at my mirrors. I'm always checking mirrors. Like I'm always checking the rear view. I'm always checking the side view mirrors. I'm always you know looking around, just you know, and. This is being more defensive in driving and stuff, so it really doesn't bother me too much driving any kind of car. Um, I mean, obviously, unless it's like a box truck where you really can't see behind me, but it really doesn't matter if I'm getting hit. It's just I hope I'm not hitting anyone. They can hit me all day. I don't really care. Um, and then the one-handed driving thing. The one-handed driving thing. Okay, every time I'm driving one-handed. Uh, I'm not really going on it, but if something happens, like I know where my hand, my right hand is gonna go. But a lot of people feel very confident in their just one hand driving, and that scares me a lot when I'm riding as a passenger because I don't know if I have enough trust in you like that. Um, there are like maybe a handful of people that I trust enough to be driving one handed. Um, and a lot of really good drivers that I hang out with don't really drive one handed when they're, you know, doing hot stuff, hot boy stuff. Um, but for the most part, the interior of this car is pretty American, but it's pretty dope. I mean, the red and black accents, um, the carbon, this kind of carbon-esque thing, I don't know if it's actually carbon. Um, gearbox eight speed, it's not the fastest, it's not really a dual clutch. Demon Brothers, or Dodge Brothers, designed in Detroit. Hellcat, first time driving one, and I really like it. I mean, I really like American cars, and um, uh, in a general sense, like for in terms of sports cars, like the Camaro Z28, the older generation, the ZLE, was it ZL1, 1LE, ZLE, whatever, LE, I don't remember, I can't remember the name. That car's, I like that car a lot too, it looks really good and it handles really well. Um, like I roasted on track by just the SS before, the newest, or not the newest generation, but the one right after the Z28. Um, I mean, but for the most part, this car is really boaty. Yeah, this car, like the suspension is really soft. You can kind of tell it by the, you know, the steering response. There, there's really no steering response when you're uh, cornering. You can hear the whine of the radar detector and also, I guess, the whine of the supercharger. seven speed or unless the ISF was like an eight speed then that's probably the one that had the most transmission like movement but it's still pretty quick but eight speeds is a safe gas obviously but overall driving feel and handling of the car I like it a lot I mean obviously it's a straight line car but this thing's really quick in a straight line uh, I don't know what else to say I mean, American cars are mainly straight line cars, but you do have, like in the most recent years, like the GT 350R, um, like those cars really don't need much, but just like, they don't, they really don't need much. You just need to go on track, that's it. Uh, maybe upgraded fluids, brake fluid, um, same with the Camaro. And then the Corvette, the C7 Corvette, I really like too. Uh, and then my favorite, all time favorite, American car is going to be the Viper ACR, so the latest generation. And obviously like 4 GT and stuff, but that stuff's kind of like, you know, a little outrageous. Uh, and always, if you're not passing, drive in the right lane, because people in Washington have an issue with that, which is fairly annoying. I don't want to reiterate how much of an idiot I look like wearing this. That's why the windows are up. Like, I like driving with the windows down, but my hair is really long and I need a haircut. Uh, and then, 
California, the weather's just been very inconsistent here in Seattle. It's like dry and cloudy and warm, or it's like rainy, really windy, and then it's like sunny the next day, and then so on and so forth, this, this and that, you know. And then just idiot drivers driving slow in the left lane. And he's got a, he's got a bull bar on his RAV4. Like what? What the hell? Like, dude, I don't, I don't even know what's going on. It's Washington for you. And I can't pass. I mean, it's illegal to ride in the carpool lane by myself, right? Unless I have an imaginary friend here. Dude, this is really. And like a driving and recording video is just so difficult. I just want to focus on driving, right? But I feel like it's a pretty cool perspective. I mean, if it was manual, yeah, I mean, that'd be cooler, but it's, it's obviously not. Missing person alert. Interesting. Um, so we're heading back to Zadar. Maybe we'll swap a car. I don't know what you guys want to see. Um, but I think we will end this here, maybe multiple? No, there's no subroom.